The way we're currently animating our widget is a little bit boring, I think. In fact, it doesn't even have any animation at all. So in this quick little episode, we're just going to cover how to animate the material widget. Hey everyone, welcome back. This one should be a fairly quick episode. We're just going to animate the materials panel here. So in my animation panel, I'm going to click on add animation. I'm going to call that materials animate. They're going to get my horizontal box on my hierarchy and add that to my track. At 0, 0 in my timeline, I'm going to get a render opacity. And then on my timeline, I'm going to scrub forward to 0 0.30 and add a keyframe at 0 0.30. Going to go back to 0 now and change my render opacity for that first keyframe to be 0. So you see it's animating opacity over time. Um, back at 0 now, I'm also going to add um, transform. Open that up, I can delete rotation, scale and shear, open translation, and at zero, I want my Y value to be 100. And you'll see it below my canvas there. And I'm just gonna scrub forward again to 0 0.3, add a keyframe and make that keyframe zero. So you see it's animating 100 pixels over 0 0.3. There you go, it's fairly straightforward. Now in my graph, I need to go to my event graph and I'm going to right click and start typing custom to get add custom event. I'm going to call that material animate in. I'm going to go to my variables, get that materials animate, and then off that, get the play animation. There we go. Connect that to my custom event. And that's all for this, I think. Compile. Go back to my content browser and look for my HUD folder and open up the HUD blueprint. Go to the event graph. And then I need to open the button states custom function. Let's find a uh, material state. So in here, I'm just going to get an instance of the materials blueprint. Where is it? There it is. Get that. And then off that, Make reference to that material animate in that we created, connect it to our active button, and then just comment that. And that's going to be called animate materials panel in. Easy. And it's compile, save, and play to test. So when I open materials, you'll see it's animating uh, 100 pixels from the bottom, and the opacity is changing over 0 0.3 seconds. And then I can continue changing my materials one and two as we covered in the previous lesson. Before we leave, let's go back into our content browser and make sure to click save all. That's all, thank you, and I'll join you in the next one.